Hello, everybody. So, okay, yes, it's a hot night, so I'm just doing something really quick. It's, oh, uh, it's hot, and I have to turn the oven on to 410-ish to make, um, just to make this real quick. Um, uh, I'm making a little Trader's Pizza. I should have, okay, I know usually I do their, like, their, do, their dough pizza. This time I was actually going to do... Use this one, garlic and herb press. But that's for something separate. Um, I had also gotten these, and I was like, you know what? They've been sitting there for like almost a week since I got them. These already make uh, pizza crust. Kind of like if you see like at Vines and stuff. Um, wait, I gotta put these somewhere. Um, real quick. Um. Bonds and all the stores have, and you know, Target, oh, they have a section where um, they have the ready-made pizza crust. So, this is just Trader Joe's version of this. And I'm mad at myself because I only got one. And um, years ago, they had a, they were giving samples of, it was this crust, and then they had the white sauce that they stopped selling at the well. I know who kind of had to make white sauce already, so... I, but at first I was like, oh, I would do that again if they had that white sauce. So I just slept on it for a while. Then, um, I just knew and looked online for a recipe for the white sauce. So I was able just to do my own thing. But by then I had discovered the refrigerator dough. So I didn't use these. But then I seen a guy had a post on, it might have been Reddit. And he said like his kid, they had like a pizza night and they just got a bunch of these crusts. And, um, I was like, oh, let me try those again. So, I already ate one earlier today. I was supposed to make it for both of us, but I ended up just going to eat his, too. But they're not that long, as you can see, because they're long, but it's, once you cut them, once you, uh, do the thing, they get smaller. So, it's not like I ate a whole thing of it. But anyway, so, and these were about to expire on the 7th. So, I was like, oh, I'm glad I got you one today. Okay. So you take the pizza crust out. Move that. Um, today I wasn't. I uh, didn't. I have some white sauce left over in the refrigerator, but I just decided to go with um, a regular pasta sauce today. Peanut gallery over here. I decided to go um, with a regular pasta sauce today. I use this four cheese Del Monte. Um. I was going to use this one, the mushroom, but I seen I had that one on the table for a while. Um, so, I'm just going to do how I did it earlier today. So, here's the flat. I don't know if it's called flatbread. It's just called pizza crust, but I'm just calling it flatbread because it's a sheet. Okay, this is how it looks. Here's the back. They say, I didn't do this earlier because I was rushing. I was kind of hungry. I just did the front earlier. But, um, oh, you know what? I could do that real quick. Um, they say to brush it with some olive oil. And since I did that earlier and it, it did help it, I guess I'll do it this time too. So you need like some kind of bakery, some kind of brush. And just put some olive oil on the bottom like I said earlier I just did the top part of it I didn't do the uh, bottom crust the bottom of the crust but on this package they recommend doing the bottom because olive oil on it um, does some it makes it crispier this is how it looks okay I need to get this off the way Oh, and these things gotta be real careful with these pizza cutters because they. I had washed one, put it in a little drying thing right there, and I was just moving something around, and my hand like grazed it one day. Okay, and then I'm just doing the top too. Some guy on Reddit today said that, um,. Because he showed his recipe for this, that what he how he used his, 
And um, he put like, he called it like grilled, no, garlic bread cheese. It was like Trader Joe's stuff. Garlic bread cheese. Um, he put a few other things I probably personally wouldn't put, but he put, um, it looked good. And he said he, he likes their crust. Loves their crust, but he likes um, Bobolis better. And I was like, Bobolis? I think that's one of those ones you see at Vons or somewhere. So, I gotta try some of these ready-made crusts. I've never really bought them before. I just bought frozen pizzas and stuff. Okay, so. There's the olive oil. So, now... You take your pasta sauce. They do sell spaghetti sauce. I mean, uh, not spaghetti sauce. Yeah, well, they do sell that, obviously. But they sell pizza sauce near the refrigerator dough at Trader Joe's. I've never got those. I just get, because I just make my own, or I just use these um, spaghetti sauce things. Because to me, it's all the same. I don't think it tastes any different, in my opinion. Now, earlier when I made it, I didn't put enough sauce, like like the first time when I made the refrigerator dough, because the sauce all soaked into the bread. So it like was just like eating garlic bread. <laughs> but it was still good. Dang, this is like drenched. Drenched in sauce. Let me put a little more. More is more with this. If you don't put enough size, it just literally bakes into it, especially at that high temperature that it needs to be at. Push it around. Okay. Um, put it in there. I'll wash that out real quick. Alright, now next step is I'm going to put so this is how it looks, y'all. Excuse this pan. It's all it's been used and abused all day. Okay, I'm using some of this and oh you know what I have some parmesan hold on I'll be right back and then I gotta get my um my anchovy for my part I'm going to put, because since this cheese doesn't have, um, I didn't look at this right the other day, or the last time, so I got, um, 
I got extra Parmesan cheese instead of getting, um, I think I was supposed to get mozzarella to go with this, um, but I got, I didn't know it had Parmesan included because it has Parmesan, Asiago, Fontina, and Provolone. And, um, okay, hold on, I'm going to get something else real quick. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little mozzarella too. Okay, and for my side of the pizza, I'm gonna put my favorite thing, anchovies. With these though, they're oily, so you need to pour them out, pour out the oil. Okay, so f what I'm gonna do first is yes, the string cheese. I forgot to get mozzarella cheese. So, I'm going to put a few strips of this. Because we don't really care what it looks like anyway. We're just, it's really what it look, tastes like. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, wait. Then I'm going to put some of this powder on. I don't know why. You know why I got Parmesan? I was like, why did I get this Parmesan? It was because when I make my white sauce, you need a quarter cup of Parmesan. And I've just been using the jar kind. The, 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 uh, the one that you put on pizza after it's done. Because, um, it did, to me, it just tastes the same anyway, but... I was like, oh, let me just get fresh pine on so it'll be real, it'll be better now. And then, put some of this. I was like, I don't want to go overboard with the cheese last time, but the cheese, once it was done, it all kind of melted in. Like, it, it looked like, I I think it's called Focaccia bread. Alexa, how do you how do you say focaccia? Sorry, I missed you. Can you say it again? Focaccia. Hmm. I don't understand oh, the question. F O C C A I C I A. I probably had to say Alexa F O C C A. This, I, I don't know if this is enough cheese. <laughs> it looks like it, but when you put it in the oven, it's like... Okay, so here's this pizza, y'all. Look at that. I would. It's the same thing. Okay, so, and then on my side, I'm going to put anchovy. Don't get grossed out. But with these, what I'm learning is less is more. Because if you put too many of them, it's just like super parched. And plus, I need to save some for that uh, other thing I'm making. So, I'm just going to put, um, ooh. One more. These little freaky things. That's what I should have done. I should have just broke them up. Okay, and. A little. I should have done this before I put the cheese on it. I put a little of this. Just a dash of it. Um, across the pizza. 
but it's it should go on the sauce because the sauce isn't always like when it's these bottled ones they're not always like flavorful and then Italian seasoning just to make it look cute and I just got real liberal with this because I liked how it came out earlier I didn't put a lot I didn't put as much as I did right there okay ready to go ready to go so, I'm going to put this in the oven, five to eight minutes. I'm going to do about maybe, I do about six, and then look, see how it looks, and I'll take it out. All right, here it goes. Six minutes. I put it on that 14. They want you to put it at um, 425, but... Um, with like the newer ovens and stuff like this one, like, um, sometimes if you put it too high, it, um, it'll burn in quicker or like it'll make it darker than you want or whatever. Like my cornbread always comes out darker than I want it. Okay, I'm going to put this herb dough. in to a bowl. Oh. This is like a separate thing. Put this into a bowl. Um, the last time I used the dough, not the herb one, I used the other one. That's the um, plain I followed this lady on um, this lady's recipe online. And she said how to do it and everything. And I followed how she said to do it. The only thing I didn't do was the olive oil part at the beginning. She puts it, she lets it proof in, uh, she rolls it in the olive oil. Since there was olive oil left from when I uh, um, put it on the pizza over there. I'm just going to put it in the same bowl and then cover this with a damp napkin and let it proof for, not a damp napkin, um, when you're, when it's done proofing after 30 minutes or, she said an hour, so last time I did it for an hour and, um, then you take it out and you let it sit like, for example, like on a cookie sheet or something like that and put a wet washcloth over it like not wet where it's dripping but you take a washcloth get it wet and then squeeze all the excess water and then um you put that um you put that uh over the dough while it's rising at room temperature for like 30 minutes or an hour and then when you're done with that it's ready you put some cornstarch where did I have it? I forgot where it's at. Somewhere right there. Um, and then you put uh, corn. You put cornstarch. Then you roll it onto the thing just with your hands. You don't need like a rolling pin. Um, and then um, put it on the cookie sheet and put it in the oven. And you guys, the last one was like bubbling. It was like making those bubbles in the dough. Because that's how she said how you do it. You know, because before my pizza didn't have the bubbles. It just had the, um, well, Alexa, set timer for one hour. One hour, starting now. Um, it didn't have the bubbles. And I didn't even really follow her thing to a T. And it still came out like hers. So with the red, with my other one, where's that sauce? Oh, I'm going to put the anchovies in the sauce. So they sit in there and make the sauce have some more flavor than it does. And I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. And I'll make that one later. So yeah, you guys, this cheese is almost gone again. I, I run through this cheese and it feels like really funny like putting it on. I think cause of the type of cheeses they are, they're hard cheeses. I don't know about Asiago and Fontina. I never, like, dealt with those on their own. 
I have double parmesan and double provolone. It's like it, they feel different than just using cheddar. Like those feel so much different. Pizza one. Um. Okay, then I have this. And my string cheese. Now this I know isn't gonna melt it because it's light. But it's underneath all the other cheese, so we won't see it. We'll taste it, though. Okay, and then I put this. This is better to put in the sauce. This or some kind of Himalayan sauce or something like that. And then this goes on top of the cheese and all the other toppings. And I start off with this because it helps prep the crust, get it crispy and everything. And that's it. All right, so... Once that's done, and then I'll put a picture up. All right, bye.